Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to just import any of the Vroid Studio 3D Avatar into Blender 4.4 with full skeletons and also the facial morph which is ready for your 3D animations in Blender 4.4 and start from now I'm going to show you all the step by step from Vroid Studio to Blender 4.4 and let's go Right, first open the Vroid Studio you can create your own own avatar or just choose one from the sample avatar then it is going to load into Vroid Studio then next we are going to export click here to export as VRM that's the first step then here click export title you need to put one and I'm going to just put model 01 the creator you have to just type the creator or because of this is pix pix IV Vroid project so I just don't change it just click export then you are going to export it as FBX no, this is not FBX, sorry, this is VRM. You are going to export as VRM and later we are going to convert it to become a FBX file. So as demo, I will just export as VRM on my desktop. Click save. Then just check it. The VRM is already exported. Then here, you can, you can just press escape. It is going to go back to the Vroid. already back to here then next this is the VRM file that we are going to import in into blender and what you need to do is just go and get my Vroid to FBX converter version 1.0 all right for this time we are going to open the Vroid to FBX converter then just open the blender 2.9 that's given by me now you have two zip folder these two are the plugin that's for blender 2.9 so our final destination is blender 4.4 but this is just a process just open this blender this is blender 2.9 then after that the first step, you need to install these two plugins in your Blender 2.9. Click Edit, Preferences, Add-ons. Just click Install from this location. Copy and paste it here. Control V and Enter. Then first, install the Cat's Blenders plugin and make sure it is it is activated. Then. Next, install again the VRM add-on for Blender release. Then here. Yeah, here you have to search cats, make sure it already activated. Take it, then also VRM. Make sure the VRM format is already activated. Then these two plugins already installed, you can close it. Then next. At here, if you press N, you can see the cats blenders plugin is at here. So, click the empty area here and press A and delete everything. Then click the triple line here, import the VRM from the desktop, model 01 VRM. Now, after that, you can see it already imported into Blender. And then, next, just click the wench, untick everything. We only want to make sure it fix the material. Then click OK. Click Fix Model. Then wait for a while. It is going to fix all of the model. Now you can see all of the material already fixed. And everything looks so beautiful. Once done this step, then just check. You can see they are exactly the same. 
then this one you can just export as fbx from blender 2.9 or you can just save it as a blend file and as demo i will just save it as a blend file because our final destination is blender 4.4 so i'm going to save it on my desktop as model model 01 as a blend file this one as, as a blenders file blenders project file i'm going to close this and then i'm going to just open the blender 4.4 for today this is a latest version click and just press a and delete everything it is easy just drag and drop the blend then open then don't save this now you can see it already open open with blender 4.4 now it already turned on the texture but you can see there are still some problems so to fix this maybe it is time consuming i'm going to just close this i don't save i'm going to just open again with blender 2.9 and make sure i export as fbx first now in blender 2.9 there's no problem i click file export fbx then the path mode you have to choose copy then activate this this is to make sure all of the material texture embedded inside the fbx file so now i export as fbx on the desktop then close it just don't save now the fbx file is already as is so again, I open the Blender 4.4, try to import, I press A and delete everything. Then drag in the FBX, click import FBX and we are going to have a look. Is it success or fail? So now it already imported as FBX file. I'm going to just turn this on to see. Now you can see if import as FBX file, everything will just look normal and no need any setup i'm going to try the facial morph and have a look i'm going to just go to the shape key the shape key will be here let's say fun so all of the shape key will just work properly as usual so this avatar is ready for you to make the 3d animations see click the skeleton we are going to just check the skeleton viewport display just show it in front and i'm going to just test the all of the skeletons and compare with the blender 2.9 i'm going to just open it again it should be the same the, ske the skeleton all are the same so nothing to worry here we just want to test the skeleton just click and go to the post mode and have a look click try to post it all right everything really work normal how about this wow just Control z Control z to just restore it so now everything really okay in your blender 4.4 everything work normally it's ready for your 3d animation all right that's all for today about my tutorials on how to import any of the Vroid Studio manga 3D avatar into Blender 4.4 and just make it become one of your assets for your 3D animations. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials and sharings, if you view all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!